Good morning, this is uh, Bruce Wall. I'm the mayor of Chesapeake Beach and we're out on the Chesapeake Beach Railway Trail which we just dedicated in uh, September of uh, 2011. And it is an absolutely gorgeous fall morning out here. We wanted to make this video to give you an idea of what is available for you to see on the Chesapeake Beach Railway Trail. And I'm looking around, I'm distracted because there's so many things to see. I'm looking at some ducks flying overhead right now. And uh, in the background over here on uh, top of the water tower, there's a bald eagle sitting there watching us making this video. Uh, I think we should be making the video of the bald eagle, but uh, we'll see how that goes. We're actually at the end of the trail. This is where the Chesapeake Beach Railway crossed Fishing Creek back uh, when it was built in 1900. Uh, the railroad was in operation until 1935 when it succumbed to uh, increased automobiles uh, competition and, uh, and the depression uh, took it out of business. So uh, from 1935 until this year, this area has not been used for anything other than hunters getting out here. But we're in the middle of a marsh that's right in the center of Chesapeake Beach. Um, there is so much to see out here, it is amazing. Uh, and I, we, this morning as we've uh, come out here, we've talked to many people and all of them are just incredibly appreciative of the fact that we built the trail and uh, that it is as, as, as successful as it is. The, the trail, the original idea for this trail um, was something that I came up with um, almost as soon as I moved to Chesapeake Beach in 1985. Prior to that, I lived in um, Northern Virginia in Fairfax County. And there was a trail there, the Washington Old Dominion Regional Park, that uh, was on the railroad uh, right of way of the Washington and Old Dominion Railroad. Um, and when I learned of the right-of-way here in Chesapeake Beach that was essentially unused and not being used for anything at all, I said, this looks like a good opportunity to do a similar thing. So I was say, appointed to the town council in 1989 and, a, and a, uh, immediately uh, suggested to uh, Mayor Gerald Donovan that we should make a hiker-biker trail out of the uh, railroad right-of-way. And he agreed. And, uh, but he had a few other things that he wanted to get done first, uh, like the community center and the water park and uh, the bay Bayfront Boardwalk. But once those things were done, he said, let's move this to the, to the top of the heap. And we did. We managed to raise over $3 million for this project uh, with uh, uh, local, uh, town, county, state, and federal money, the bulk of it being uh, a federal grant. Um, and, um, we managed to get through all of the environmental um, issues, uh, which took five years, and we started construction about uh, uh, nearly two years ago, and awarded the contract nearly two years ago, started construction 18 months ago, and, and I'm pleased to say that in, in September of 2011, we, we have completed this project. There is so much to see out here. Um, you just need to get out here and enjoy yourself. Uh, I hope this video has given you a taste of the kinds of things that are available to visitors to the Chesapeake Beach Railway Trail. It has uh, certainly uh, interest of, as far as the wildlife is concerned here in, in the marshes. Uh, we're going to have an explosion of fall color uh, probably before you see the video. Um, there are, uh, there's a lot of historical information in our signage that we've put up that tells you about the railroad. Just come out and join us here at the Chesapeake Beach Railway Trail.